my name is Bethany Kendrick, and I work at the Life Lab here at Lourdes. And this is Carl. He's a veiled chameleon, and he's trying to get away right now. <laughs> um, as you can see, he's a bright color because I just took him out. He's, they actually change colors because of mood. I try and get some mealworms that haven't grown the exoskeleton. See the mealworms? And what I do is I powder them, or put powder on them, to give them more calcium. His tongue is really long and really sticky. And his eyes move around so you can see all around him. <laughs> you can see his eyes move. They need like things to climb on, they need um, a lot of humidity and a lot of heat and a lot of really good heat heat lamps and different areas for basking and they're cold-blooded so they need areas that are cooler than others to cool off and his feet are made for grabbing onto branches See if they'll get on that finger. He'll, he'll like pinchers. <laughs> and now he's trying to show his tuft by opening his mouth and puffing up a bit. And showing his bold, bright colors too. That's how chameleons communicate is through color. And the brighter colors is being territorial and threatening joining me for a two-minute interview with Carl the Chameleon at the Life Lab.